In this video I'm going to show how I installed a full-size graphics card into this Lenovo S510 SFF PC. As you can see this PC is in a horrible visual condition. This looks like the previous owner used to kick it down the stairs or something. So I'll see if I can do something to that too. After taking off the side panel and two screws holding it, I took out the CD and the CD tray. I'm going to not use this because I need to make some space for the graphics card. This PC had a 128 gig Samsung SSD. I'll be replacing that with a larger one because I not going to fit any HDD here. I'm going to use only one drive due to this little space and mounting points. I took the bracket off because it's not going to be needed. I'm not going to use it to mount the graphics card and it would block some airflow. I'll install the graphics card using a PCIe riser cable and an HDMI extender cable which I'm gonna use to route an HDMI port from the graphics card to one of the PCIe slots. I replaced the CPU fan with a green LED fan which will be visible when the case is closed. I'll be mounting the graphics card in a pretty sketchy looking way but it stays there quite securely. I used some rubber stickers to prevent the GPU from touching the memory module or the CPU cooler. It's very important to prevent the GPU from touching anything metallic and sorting itself out. Here's a close-up of everything I've done to fit this GPU inside here. Keep in mind that the power supply, at least in this unit, is only 180 watts, so that cannot handle very many graphics cards. Here I'm using a GT1030 which has only 20 watts of TDP because this is the DDR4 memory version of the graphics card. To cover the scratches and other visual imperfections I just used some cheap AliExpress vinyl wrap. I wouldn't say that it looks super good now either, but at least it's different. Some of the vinyl wrap didn't quite stick on so well and I had to modify it a little. Here is the final version. The 7th generation i3 inside this machine turned out to be surprisingly good CPU for gaming and this GPU is definitely a bottleneck in these games which I tried. The GT1030 is not shadow play supported so I can't record with it. There was some hacks earlier that allowed shadow play features to be enabled with GT1030 and other unsupported GPUs but I couldn't get any of those to work. I guess they've been patched so unfortunately I only took some screenshots I promise I'll get a capture card at 
some point. Anyway, in Fortnite, it cannot keep a stable 60 FPS in 1080p and the resolution needs to be reduced to 720p to maintain 60 FPS. In Beam and Drive, this PC cannot hold 60 FPS in 1080p either when it's on low settings and needs to be set on lowest for it to be playable at 45 something FPS.